Super Trash. Super Trash. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... Are you listening? Damn. Trash Bags, we are back to the trashiest channel on the fucking net. And we're back here with Bash That Trash. My name's Catman. Welcome back. Today we have the month of October's trashiest moments. You'll be hearing from Sean Through and Six, Backdoor Bandit, and a surprise appearance by myself, Catman, in place of War Eagle this month. And oh boy, do we got a good one cooking for you guys this time. So Trash Squad, get ready, sit back, relax, get some popcorn, and let's kick us off with number 10, Sean Through and Six. What do we got? Coming in at number 10, we got some Friday the 13th. We're just chilling in the lobby after probably waiting for 20 minutes to get into one. Uh, rep Friday the 13th, by the way, for that. Uh, Blaze bitch over here is asking some dumbass questions, like if people could hear him, if he's Jason. Well, of course you can, you idiot. You think Jason was deaf and couldn't hear anyone he kills? Then we got Cadman putting out some slander about me, and this idiot agrees to me being a bitch somehow. I hope his bitch ass died first and got brought back as Tommy to only die again. Fuck you, Blaze Trash. Yeah, if Shawnee Beats is a killer, you have no chance. He's a bitch. I know. <laughs> he said, I know. It's pretty bad when even randos know you're a bitch, Shawnee Beats. Coming in at number nine, we got the squad in some war zone. Match about to start, and we here. Uh, but that's not the best part here. Tim tells us a little too much of what he does with guys in the in the game and unleashed a special move on him. I mean, I, I was I was I was doing a finishing move on my on my on a guy right at the end. But I don't know what the fuck. And I'm pretty sure he calls it the balls of Jericho. Timmy's a pro finisher on guys. You can take that personally from the backdoor bandit. Scaring our way into number eight, we have Cabman playing some in the silence. You ever look at yourself in the mirror and you scare yourself somehow? Cause who would have thought that a clown would be spooked by another clown? Oh, I'm usually a fan of things popping into a box. Haven't experienced anything pop out yet. And at number 7, we have a double feature of In Silence with Cadman once again. Totally looked like he shits himself when the monster that came out of Cthulhu's asshole runs by him. Eh, I can't really blame him for that one. Uh, but I guess this would be the prime time to tell the stream to like and subscribe. There's no way something can mess up, right? Well, in a flash, Cadman's chances of surviving came tumbling down. Fuck. Fuck, I wasted it! At least you could say that's the first time Rolly's been flashed by accident because no one's doing that shit on purpose. And coming in at number six, we had the trash crew in some war zone. So this clip was already sus when I hear when I hear Rolly moaning in the beginning. And to follow up the sus, he goes out and says he's inside Tim. I'm inside Tim. Oh, oh my! Oh my! Come on, guys. I know we're all friends here, but I think you should have kept that locked in the closet. Looks like Super Trash Gamers is a bit more diverse than we all thought. Though I really wouldn't ship this at all. It's kind of fucking gross. Well, you know you got a wide entry when you can have two of you inside of you at once. Slicing into number five, we got Cadman and the gang in the middle of some Friday the 13th. Would you ever think or imagine of Jason Voorhees getting jumped by a bunch of camp counselors? Well, you're not dreaming because Cadman just kept getting his ass kicked by these guys. I'm not into anal, so I do not like that asshole. Tries to grab them, gets stabbed. Approaches them, gets stunned immediately. Man, there's no winning in this one. I am into choking, but apparently Tommy Jarvis isn't. Uh, what the fuck? This is the physical version of what a bash that trash really looks like. Coming in at number four. Looks like we got some more wars though. Landed with the, as I'm the best, former member of Boom at the Best would say, JFKs, because he's an idiot. Looks like a fucking free-for-all of AFKers right now. 
And then this motherfucker jumps in a car thinking he's fucking Tony Stewart. Takes one out. He's not finished. He's coming back around. Finishes him. Hits another. In the wall, gosh. <laughs> Boys need to take some fucking cover. He's not done yet. He's coming back for a third lap. <laughs> Man, my ass has never stood up so fast trying to run to that door. And here we are at number three. We got the crew in some war zone. Tim is the last one alive because the game always seems to send four teams after us and us alone. But don't worry. That's how you do it right there. Tim has mad skills as a driver. Well, if it's, if it's in this video, you know that's not going to be the case. Because Mr. I Camp in a Building with an RPG is the one who decides who lives or dies. Sorry, Tim, but your moves kind of blew more than the RPG did. <laughs> Looks like somebody finished Timmy up for a change. War Eagle's flying, all right, but not in the way he'd want to. In the arms of the angels. And at number two, we got another Warzone clip with Cadman being the last one alive in this one. First, I'd like to point out that the Magnum is the game in this game is very garbage. If we ever return to the trash review, we gotta make sure that this is the, one of the top weapons on there, because it's just so bad. I hate the iron sights in that, it's just garbage. But uh, moving on from that, Cadman wins his gulag and makes quite possibly the slowest descent I've ever seen in this game. And here we go for the big finish. I'm gonna get my shit, I'm gonna kill that team, and I'm gonna come back to- Yeah, that's not what happened. And, uh, making our way into number one is Cadman and myself into Warzone. So the new subway feature was put into the game. It looks pretty cool, right? Uh, I mean, it's too bad I couldn't use it because I had some dickhead who decided to think it was funny to block the entrance at the last second and not let me use it. Shit is no different from what I see in the Boston Red Line, because all they do is just block the friggin' door and don't let anyone in. Bunch of assholes. In the words of Stone Cold, ah, ah! How's that foot long from Snubway? Well, this kind of proves that he is still the worst cousin ever. Well, thank you, Sean. I'm glad I hold the title after all these years, and I will continue to be the champ of the worst cousin ever. Thank you guys for watching the month of October and our winner, Snubway. We will see it go into the end of the year in just a couple months into the competition for the Golden Trash Bag Award. I've told you guys many a times, you yourselves can win this trophy if you go to the Discord in the link in the description below and submit your clips to the Bash That Trash clip section and your clips could be featured and possibly win the Golden Trash Bag Award. As always, like and subscribe. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go stop Sean from getting on some subways again. Stay trashy, and this has been... See you guys in the next one. Introduce you to us so you can see Super Trash Gamers. We the STG. Yeah, you know we got Rolling CC 311 Cadman 2013.